And that brings us so nicely to getting some, some perspective around all of that with Lachlan Meekin from Go Markets. Lachlan, hi, welcome. So we have talked about BOE. Morning, Obviously, we'll talk about the SOMP. But still, the big feature, I think you've got to say, of Forex markets is the, the continuing U.S. dollar strength. And that was reinforced, really, by the Fed on Thursday. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's been the, the narrative for what, six months now. I mean, buying any dip on the dollar has been, been a winning trade, especially against um, the euro and the pound, where, where the, the Fed's really moved ahead of them. Um, in, in rate hike um, expectations and, and what their forward guidance is of where their terminal rates are going to be. Um, um, and that was pretty much uh, brought home this week as well with the Fed um, basically saying they're going to be longer, higher, uh, while the Bank of England, if they had a choice a choice between a, a dovish 50, uh, sorry, a hawkish 50 and a dovish 75 uh, overnight. And they, they certainly went to dovish 75 and you saw the reaction in the pound to that. Um, the, the market's it's obviously pricing in a terminal rate way too high and that's kind of been discussed a fair bit for, for the last few months uh, around here so um governor governor bailey coming out and actually saying that yeah we've seen real pressure on the pound real um, and, and the us dollar also with the risk off that we've seen the last week as well i mean it's, it's a, a lot of a lot of what's driving forex is really that risk on risk off risk off uh, narrative which us dollar does really well when the markets tank so that that's helped it as well yeah, so the US dollar continuing to be dominant. Can we just delve into the BOE a little bit now with you, Lachlan? Um, because we still do have this fiscal plan to come, you know, a couple of weeks time. We're really getting the sense that fiscal and monetary policy right around the world, but in, in England in particular, you know, really starts to need to work hand in hand. Yeah, they were moving in opposite directions for a while there. I think um, things seem to have calmed down with the new government. Uh, it looks like uh, they 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 may work in tandem now. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they come out with, but it's it's difficult to see any real strength for the pound coming from it. Um, it looks they've they're in it they're in a very unenviable position with with the the Bank of England, especially with trying to tame inflation without really damaging the economy. They've already basically said they're going to go into recession, but how deep that recession is. I mean, we've got um, mortgage rates that reset over there as well. The, it, the, they go too hard, especially on, especially on, on the interest rates. Um, the downturn may be too big to take to, to tame inflation. That seems to be the message from them. They're going to slowly really get there um, without trying to damage the economy too much. So I can't see the, the fiscal policy really going against what the Bank of England pretty much said yesterday, to be honest. Yeah, OK. So you do continue to expect to see pressure coming on the sterling? Uh, yeah, I think um, I think to the end of the year, it's definitely, especially to the end of the year, with, and and the euro as well. Um, buy any dip in the US dollar. I, I'm I'm suspecting the ECB will be very similar next month. With um, they've, the markets are pricing in 75, five. There's, there's an argument they might only do 50, so it'll be that same conundrum of the hawkish 50 or the or the dovish 75. I think they'll do something similar to the, uh, to the Bank of England, England, uh, a, a dovish 75, and they'll they'll pose down their kind of terminal rate expectations people are seeing in uh, the eurozone um so yeah certainly certainly at the end of the year that's what i'll be doing i'll be buying any dip in the us dollar especially against those for the euro and the pound okay now aussie dollar i mean we've talked around it but um it's got headwinds coming at it from from all camps really when you think about the risk off environment also still major concerns out of china the data was not strong this week, I mean, where, what do you see? I, I know the U.S. dollar, but how much is the China story being influential on the Aussie? Oh, it's massive. I mean, I mean, I mean, the, the Aussie dollar has literally just been a proxy for for global risk sentiment and, and Chinese growth, um, certainly for most of this year. Uh, the RBA has really played a, a second a second fiddle. I think the Aussie dollar certainly hasn't helped it with um, taking things slower, and, and especially on uh, Tuesday's meeting, they've they've really signaled it that 25 five is the way to go from here on. And I mean, if, if they didn't hit a 50 after that hot CPI figure last week, I don't think they're going to again. So it's, that certainly doesn't help the Aussie dollar, but the, the main driver has certainly been risk. Um, Chinese growth, neither of which look too great at the moment. Um, saying that, I think the Aussie dollar's look, looking like it's found a, a bit of a bottom, a bit of a fair value kind of support between here and a 61 and a half. I, I think that's where we'll range from for probably the end of the year, the year around the 61 to 63. I can't see it going much lower. 
Um, I mean, the only other two times it's gone lower than this in the last 20 years have been real risk off shock, the DFC and the pandemic. Are, are so unless something really bad happens, I think the Aussie dollar will hold around that low 60s and, and probably just meander around there. Okay. The year at least. Yeah, that's interesting because I know a couple of weeks ago there were folks calling for it to fall below that 60 US cent level. Um, Lachlan, do you oh, yeah, anticipate... I think it'll get there. Yeah, okay. Do you, do you anticipate any sort of risk event in this SOMP or do we sort of... I mean, I mean, the RBA has been communicating a lot. Yeah, no, I don't think so. They don't normally cause too much um, too much volatility in the market. I think I think the the... The RBA is it's a very cautious central bank. It's, I guess, the milk toast of central banks. It's, it's not going to, it doesn't like surprising the market. So I don't think there'll be much movement around and around this, this, this the, um, announcement today, to be honest. Okay. And uh, jobs data tonight. I mean, do you have a, an expectation or, you know, still expecting to see a very tight jobs market there, just again, reinforcing the path for the Fed and therefore strength in the US dollar? This is a really, a really big one. I mean, non-farm is always really important, but um, coming just after the Fed, we've got looking at the Fed fund futures. I had a look this morning. They're, they're pricing in of um, the, the interest rates for the December meetings, 50-50 between a, a 50 and a 75. Um, and one of the, I guess, the big drivers we've seen in the markets and, and FX is uh, markets, markets repricing their expectations for the next Fed meeting once they've gone past one. So them being around that 50-50 level, I mean, I mean, a big figure tonight, um, as we know, bad news is good news for equity, mar equity markets at the moment. A, a really strong figure tonight, um, I would think, would re reprice those expectations of the Fed's next meeting in favour of the 75. Um, see, a big, see a big pop in the US dollar and, and a drop in the, um, the equity markets, obviously. And, yeah, and obviously, the, the other currencies against the US dollar, the Aussie and Kiwi, probably the most affected because, because uh, being high beta currencies will see a drop. But... On the other hand, if it's a really weak figure, we'll see the opposite. We'll see a relief rally in equities and then the US dollar week. And so um, tonight, yeah, there's, there's, well, either way, there's going to be a lot of volatility. It'd be, it'd be an exciting one to watch.